There are people who can make uh, instrument sounds with just their voices. I remember back in school, I had a friend who called Beatbox. Today, I've met someone who can uh, make trumpet sounds with just his voice. Before we get into the interview, let's just hear a freestyle from him. Welcome, Akwaba, to my channel, Truly Ghanaian TV. My name is Efo Selassie. My boss, what's your name? My name is Sylvia Akwa, simply Sylvia the Voice Trumpeter. Oh, so how, how did you discover you could do that with your voice? Um, way back in 2003, when I was in secondary school, I was secondary school to be precise, um, we, have, we were having a brass band in our school, and I had an interest to join them to learn how to use the trumpet. But along the line, I noticed that most of the trumpeters had their lips swollen and get injured because of the mouthpiece of the trumpet. So I told myself, this and I can't do it. But one day, um, in my sober moment, I was thinking about the inconveniences that, that the use of the trumpet could pose to me. Then God spoke to me that if people can use their mouth to whistle, like, <whistles> and make music out of it, then I can also replicate or mimic a sound of a sound of a trumpet with my own voice. So what I did was that any time we closed from school and the band was rehearsing, I had to hide myself somewhere and I listened to the sound of the actual trumpet and I tried to mimic it. That is how I've come I've been able to get to this very far. How long did it take for you to be able to perfect that sound? Yeah, it took me about a month. You see, when God deposits something in you, it behooves on you to try so hard to bring it out. Initially, when I started, I had to be rehearsing. I had to, 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 to try to mimic the sound, though the sound was not sounding like that of a trumpet. I was having that, that feeling that when I push harder, when I change the position of my tongue in my mouth, I could produce the sound. So along, uh, along the line, I was repositioning my tongue in my mouth and uh, God, God being so good one time, I just produced the sound. And at that time it was giving a sound of a trumpet. But what I did was that I realized that the, the, tra uh, the trumpet vibration was not in the sound. So I had to put the, the vibration in. So that is what I did. How, how were people's reaction when they realized you could do that with your voice? Initially, people got amazed. I could remember that it got to a point why people, uh, excuse me to say, tagged me to, to be possessed with some kind of spirit. Wow. Yeah, because they don't, they are, they're surprised. They are so much surprised that they couldn't understand that God can use someone to do this. So people get astonished. They call me all sorts of names, but those who know that God can do this through humans, they begin to appreciate God. Yeah, so what I do most of the time is that I have to demystify, try to tell people that this is how I do it. Sometimes people will ask me, open your mouth. If they want to see my mouth, I'll open it. Look, look inside. They look into my mouth, they don't see anything. People get astonished. Sometimes they say, oh, it is, it is my mobile phone on me. They want to take the phone. I give it to them. They say, oh, the thing, I'm hidden it somewhere. I should remove my dress. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of things. Yeah, but God is so good. Yeah. So I think maybe some people have appreciated your talent and then maybe booked you for their programs. I don't know. If yes, 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 yes. I can remember one time I was booked uh, by Pharmacy, Pharmacy Council of Ghana. And um, that program was a heavy, a heavy one, of course. 
the vice president uh, dr bauma uh, dr mahamadou baumia um, was also there and uh, it was so amazing i was even asked to uh, do the uh, the Ghana national anthem with my own voice and it was awesome people couldn't believe what i was doing and uh, i give all thanks to god how often do you get booked yeah sometimes in a, in a week um, i get not less than two programs to go and um um, through that, I was one day I was able to go for a wedding. Then, um, sensing the atmosphere, looking at the people around, then um, I realized that it was a mix of Nigerians and Ghanaians. So I said, No, I have to surprise these people. So I did the, the Nigerian national anthem, and I also did the Ghana, the Ghana national anthem before. Did you, did you know the Nigerian national anthem a long time before? Yes, uh, as I, I usually learn. Yes, I try learning other national, uh, let is their national anthem and stuff. Yeah, so it was a very big opportunity for me to capitalize on. So I did a national anthem of the, uh, Nigerians and I did that of Ghanaians. So when I, when I was done, I, I played the, the wedding songs. When I dropped the mic, everybody was calling me. The Nigerians were calling me. Oh, please. They want to ask me questions. Are you a Nigerian? Blah, blah, blah. The, the Ghanaians, they were also calling me. And through that, I was able to get a contract. Uh, one man just called me and I spoke with me and said, wow, God is so wonderful that he would love me to come and perform at a program in Nigeria. I thought he, he, the man was joking. I was there two years ago when he called me and I, I told me that, oh, we met in Ghana. So he has a program I should come. I said, okay, fine. Then we talk about the terms and conditions and he had to book a flight for me and I flew to Nigeria and uh, it was this is a case of a preparation meets opportunity. So um, what type of programs do you perform? I, because of what I believe in, that God has blessed me with this gifting, I usually go for um, uh, gospel programs where uh, God is revealed. I, I go for weddings, um, church programs, um, engagements, uh, yeah, things that are godly. Those are the places that I go. It means you only perform gospel songs. Yeah, I do gospel songs and um, a, li a little bit of high life. I don't do things that are having profanity in, in it. Yeah, I always want to use the talent to acknowledge God. Okay, that's great. So, do you practice? Yeah, I, I, I practice. I practice when I, I, I show them myself that, oh, today I need to rehearse. So, I have a place. Uh, I normally go to our church premises where I spend time over there, rehearse, and try to put my voice in shape. Normally, if you want to have programs to go, I need to rehearse. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, your, your voice might, might not be smooth. And what I usually do is that when I take, as in when I eat, after eating, I make sure I put my voice in shape. I take some banana and stuff. And when I read that this voice is okay, I can use to perform. I don't take anything until I finish with my performance. That's what I do. Because you can eat something and the thing will take a toll on your voice. Yeah, so that, that's what I normally do. Uh, what you do, doesn't it have any effect on your... Not at all, not at all. Not at all. Is it lucrative? Mm. Does it pay? Yes, yes, yes. It, it pays, it pays. You it do anything else apart from... Yes, I'm a, I'm a graphic designer and a fashion designer as well. Yeah, I do graphics and I also am a fashion designer. Okay, that's great. So just uh, tell us your plans for your talent. What do you plan to do with it? Yes, I'm, I'm aiming international platforms. I want to take this talent beyond the shores of Ghana. I want to be internationally recognized. So I'm, I'm working towards that. And I know that one day um, the world, the whole world is going to know of me that there is someone in Ghana here who God has blessed so much with this gifting, and I, I, I have to do that because it's, it must also attract, it must be lucrative, so that I, 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 I make some good money out of it. Yes, of course. So just give us your last freestyle, and then we will we'll end it. Let me do one gospel song. Oh, 
This is amazing. Just tell us uh, where we can contact you on social media and then personally on your uh, WhatsApp phone if we want to reach you. Yes, um, you can reach me on um, um, 0246 0246-733515. The same number is on WhatsApp. Uh, my Facebook page is Sevia the Voice Trumpeter. And uh, the same number that I, I mentioned is on um, WhatsApp yeah, as well. Yeah. Right, so thank you for talking to us. You're welcome, my brother. Right, so thank you for spending time to watch this video. My name still remains Efo Selassi. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Truly Ghanaian TV. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Truly Ghanaian One. Have a blessed week.